Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 16 of Spyro Year of the Dragon. So, this time we'll be doing Crystal Islands. Technically this is level 1 in this area, but we decided to do Desert Ruins because it should have been shorter than... It took us because of that one glide and my controller kind of having hiccups every few seconds. Spyro, don't tell anyone, but we were stolen some magic from the sorceress. We're hiding here whilst we are practicing using it. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of an accident and turned everything into crystal, and it seems to have aggravated the indigenous creatures. Oh my god, Mario knockoff. What the heck, man? Alright, this level at least looks pretty decent in the background. What the heck is making that sound? What's the turtle? And these animals, or these animals, these creatures are cool because they have like really unique death animations compared to like most enemies. Also, an enemy returns, the octopus, and they don't only drop red gems this time, so at least now they drop more gems, which is kind of cool, I guess. I'll give the game that, that they kind of up the gem quality from those guys so they don't feel as worthless. And those turtles are so weird. Shush! You're creeping me out. Oh yeah, and these are technically bears, by the way. So if those are bears, what are these guys? Like, what kind of animal are they supposed to be? I don't know what they're supposed to be. I don't even know if they're actually animals or not. These gems on the ground are kind of cool, but once again, Spyro kind of just sits on top of them. He doesn't actually walk over them properly. Stop fighting giant flying beavers, man. Why are you fighting beavers anyway? Such a weird animal to be fighting. Flying beavers. Just straight up beavers, man. That's just crazy. Alright, let's see. What do we got going on here? Anything? Nothing. So, now we have to talk to this guy. Would you like to see a magic trick? Watch carefully! As you can see, there is nothing up my left sleeve and nothing up my right sleeve. But now, with a wave of my hands and the magic word... Alakazam! You don't even have sleeves. <laughs> yeah, their magic is crystal or gem magic. They say crystal, but it's clearly gems. But why would the sor is that where all this money came from? Is technically the sorceress's magic then? Yeah, so technically you're gonna have to do a backtrack. But we got Manny or is that Manny? Not entirely sure. But that's another dragon egg, and I believe you have to re-talk to him. Their magic only stays once you beat the level. Yep. You want? So I'm not gonna listen to what they have to say, cause they all just say, "I got a magic trick, uh, and I'm a Mario a ripoff." Uh. Stinking Mario wannabes, magic Mario wannabes. I guess Mario is kind of magical in his own sense, and can we actually make that glide of death? This actually looks pretty threatening. Now, he'll activate his magic, but we don't want to do that just yet. Because clearly we want to clear everything out before we get to that point, right? Die, bear. I'm pretty sure they act they function like the those beasts from Alpine Ridge and Spyro the Dragon. You know, the first game. Like, of course it's in a Spyro game. You're talking about a Spyro enemy. No, I mean literally the first game. Anyways, I know there's another octopus in here. I could hear him and see him. And death to the octopus! Now it looks like we can go and grab the magic power from this guy. And remember, it's only temporary, so... You actually have to be fairly quick, not like super quick, but... Quick enough before the magic shuts down. And just a bunch of random enemies. Why do these enemies only drop me greens? And the octopus dropped me five. Oh god, Moneybags is back again. Thought last episode was the last time we'd see him, but I guess not. Spyro, did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? My specialty is the uh, amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but I'll need a small donation first. For my expenses, you understand. A thousand? Very good. Ah, let's see. Hocus Pocus, Ziggledy Zen, 
Make this bridge get long again. Yeah, sure. Lame. Yeah, this room you definitely have to clear off all the enemies because there's no way you're getting up there without these beavers launching nuts at you or whatever they are. What would a beaver be throwing at you anyway? They chew on wood. Seems kind of weird that they throw things. I guess they throw gems, right? Like, this whole level is like gems and crystals, so I guess it would make sense. Oh, I thought there were going to be no octopi in the water, but I guess there are. Still disappointing that we lost a thousand gems to open up a measly bridge. And hey, there's the end of the level up there. Yeah, and see, you have to talk to him. Yeah, because see, if you do this, that while you're waiting for them to go down so you can actually make the jump, the beavers would hit you. So, yeah, that's the thing. Also, there's a mini game right here. Pretty sure that's one of two mini games of that kind that show up throughout the entire game. And then we can fly over there, but that's only a key chest, and we don't have that yet. So let's talk to him. Here, you can have this. I was going to use it in a trick. But uh, my magic, it just keeps bouncing off. Uh-huh. Marvelo gave us Lloyd. Thank you for Lloyd. Now let's go check out this minigame over here. Oh yes, this is the slide minigame, which only uh, shows up in Haunted Tomb as well. I'm pretty sure this is the easy one. And I'm pretty sure this one has like gems, while the other one I don't think does. Oh, excuse me, and if it does, well, I don't think it has very many. Yeah, you're also a lot slower on this one than the uh, other version of the slide. This is also a lot of the, the gems from this level just chilling right here, for whatever silly reason. And no, it's not the remake that did that, it's just in general. The slide was a lot more difficult than the original, though. But I feel like the other version of the slide was, was easier than the remake, so I guess it's a trade-off. Eloise! Ah, oh, it's another sneezy one. What's with the sneezy ones lately? Get in the door. My headphones that I keep wearing, the cord gets stuck between, like, my uh, Fitbit's wristband and, like, the clip on it, so then it just pulls and pulls them out of my ear. It's annoying. Anyways, we do have Bentley section here, and we have that section. So let's go to the Bentley section. And he's just gonna go listen to some magic. But what we have to do here is we actually have to play Whack-A-Mole, which I remember being annoying, especially in the remake, just because, like, the way they made Bentley in this game, they kind of made him jankier than normal. Also, why do you have so many of these if they don't drop very many gems? Kind of counterintuitive, but sure. I'm gonna go collect the gems before I deal with you, sir. Like, this zone, like, while wow, the floating islands look kind of... Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna complain about this level. This level looks pretty cool. The giant crystals in the background, like... Did you guys do this to this world? Make it all crystals? Since it's you guys that apparently stirred up the wildlife? That's kind of concerning that all this was created by you guys. But sure. I am afraid my magic show seems to have overexcited the moles. All they need is a good bonker on the head to calm them down. And you look like just the yeti to help. A light tap on the head should sort them out. But be careful, my friends are trying to burrow after them. Why would they burrow after them? Oh, and you're gnomes. You're not even magicians, you're just straight up gnomes. So yeah, your goal is to bonk the moles. And you can technically bonk them when they're... Get out of the way, gnomes. Gnomes, get out of the way. Sheesh. No. Get... Stop getting in the way of the... The biggest issue... Is the gnomes pop up right with the freaking... Wait, what am I stuck on? A gnome. Oh, and I hit the gnome. Well, can the gnomes get out of the way? Like, please? But why is he spawned up way over there? There's no way I could even physically get to that gopher mole. But these are gophers, not moles. 
Like, clearly, these do not look like moles. They look like gophers with little magic hats on. Which is really weird. All things considered. I think the issue is, is like, the guys will like be right after the mole, or they'll walk into you as you're smacking the mole. And it just causes issues. Oh, I actually killed that one before it went back in the hole. Same with that one. And that one. And there we go. Well done! And look! One of my friends dug this up while chasing the moles. Why was there randomly Hank in the dirt? But thank you for Hank. And that, guys, is the last of the Bentley level sections. Yeah, that's that's a good farewell to him, right? It is literally just abandoning him like that. Now this part, this part's really annoying. Because now you have to chase after this thief in a plane, which really is reminiscent of Spyro 1 when you're in Nasty's loot. And you have to, uh, you know, f deal with the flying thieves. I can't tell if he gets the boost or not. But there we go. That's an egg. Max power. Nice. Now you actually... Welcome, most esteemed dr Whoa, why did it turn me that way? Now, I believe... Is it over here? Yeah, it's over here that we can go. There's lots of... Uh, ow. Looks like there's lots of gems over here, right? And there are. Delicious, nutritious gems. And we do have the uh, dragon egg right here. Grace! Is that the last dragon egg? Yeah, it's the last dragon egg. And it removes her flying ability, which sucks. Because the sad part is... Wait, I'm not even allowed to go back that way. Because there's a weird in-game wall. I'm allowed to go down here, though. Which way am I going now? Uh oh. Yeah, and see, now that... Get out of the way. Now that we cleared out the level, this is, you know, open for us, which is nice, but still. Oh, the amount of backtracking we have to do is horrendously dumb, and I'm pretty sure the key we need is actually up there, by the way. And I think we have time to do the speedway before we call it an episode, so... And then it'll probably be just one level per episode until we beat the game. Because there's no way we're going to cram some of the levels into... Or two levels into one episode sometimes. Woohoo! Is it this one? No, never mind, that's not the key. Wait, I didn't click Y? What the heck was that game? I'm pretty sure the key wasn't back here, and that's the beginning of the level. Yeah, see, the key wasn't over here. Um, okay, that's an invisible wall that just straight up isn't visible. Okay, and then there's no key over there. I'm pretty sure the key was over here, right? Wait a minute. Hang on. Where is the key exactly? We don't have the key, do we? No, we don't have the key by accident. So where is it? I'm pretty sure the key was supposed to be... It's like close by to the actual thing, right? Is it not? Huh, weird. I could have sworn the key was around here somewhere. I've never actually had to... Oh, there it is! I knew it was on top of one of the rooftops. 
I guess I was just looking at the wrong ones lately. Why is there an invisible wall right there? Alright, now we just have to go back to the uh, chest right here and that should be all the gems, right? At least I'm assuming. And it's not all the gems? Really? Well, it's... Wait, wait, wait! Why did I... Oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't have my flying anymore. I'm an idiot. Hmm. Wait. He's pointing down there. Like, directly under... Oh. Oh, that's funny. Wait, was there... There wasn't a skill point here, was there? No. Alright. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and in the next episode, um... I believe Haunted Tomb... We only have two levels left, right? I think. Haunted Tomb and... Because we did Crystal, and then we did haunt or the desert I mean it did agent 9 so I believe it's only haunted tomb and dino mines left as well as the speedway and the boss right and then the sparks level once we beat the game which is right here so yeah see you guys next time hope you enjoyed and bye bye